Yeah. Mm, okay. Music, yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of women who are invisible. Yes. Um, who are not. Um, but I also think there's a lot of visible ones. Like, if you go on MySpace, for example, you find plenty of women who are doing music. You know? Yeah. I think some of the invisible women may be the women who are doubting themselves, or who are not uh, keen on promoting themselves, who doesn't know really, maybe doesn't have enough self-confidence to say, okay, look, this is what I do, you know, this is presenting themselves in this in a in a way that is artistic or creative, you know. Mm. And maybe also because what we were talking about before, you know, you're not supposed to, as a woman, uh, have all this self confidence and go out and, and, and have this hobby and be really good at something, you know. Paint a beard on. You paint a beard on? Uh, especially to question gender roles, you know? Like, what, what, how would people perceive me if I was a guy? I, how would people perceive me if I'm a girl or a girly girl, you know? Um, yeah, it's basically to, to question gender roles, but it's also showing one side of me, you know? Like, I don't always wake up and feeling like girly, you know? Sometimes I wake up and I feel like a boy. What is the difference between feeling like a boy and feeling like a girl? It's the difference, the whole gender issue, I guess. The whole... Uh, it's in everything, I think. It's in your in, in your expression, and in your expressions, and in the way you move, the way... The, and overall the way you feel, right? So if I'm in a girly mood, I would maybe take, put on a, sh a shirt with maybe like this, you know? Or, and just like, it's a feeling basically. It's not so much how, what you put, what clothes you put on. The clothes is just helping the, your surroundings to, to catch your vibe, you know? But it's mostly, uh, I would say, it's, it's in who you are and how you express yourself, you know? kind of vibe you're sending out. Your performance that I witnessed last night, would you uh, categorize that as queer? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, I mean, I don't I don't sit down and, and say, I'm going to make queer music, you know, but I am queer, so therefore, um, I guess you could say it's a queer performance. I don't know, a queer concert, a queer music, I don't know. Um, def uh, overall, I don't really like to to put myself into boxes. I don't really like to put anything or anybody into like boxes. Like I think that like, people can be whatever they are, whoever they are, you know, they I don't need to to label them or to put them into boxes. I don't believe that there are uh, like one certain kind of people go into this box, another certain like, I don't believe that people fit into like ten different boxes, you know. I believe that they can be in, in Four different boxes at the same time. Yeah, I think I appeal to every audience. I don't. I don't appeal only to queer audience. No, I appeal to everyone. I don't want to play only for queer audience because uh, it's as well my. Uh, uh, I want uh, a straight audience to, to get my message. I want everybody, if they are black, if they're white, if they're straight, if they are queer, you know. I want them to. Uh, uh, I, I like to tell them. Uh, to play for them, and, uh, and I hope that uh, they can, they will communicate with me, and they can get something out of what I'm saying. You know.
take off the shirt? So can you girls take off the shirt? Or so you're like, I'm just gonna shy now. But um, we could maybe go like this. Um, well, this girl at the front. This girl. Right, enough for now. So, first of 